My name is Chisholm Apala. I am from Nigeria, left when I was 17 to go to college in the U.S. I grew up listening to a lot of Afrobeats. I strongly believe that Afrobeats is going to take over the world. I mean, it already is. Afrobeats is a genre of music popular in West Africa. It's a mix of percussion and it has chanted vocals, sometimes like a bit of jazz, a lot of rhythm. It's like a feel good, like dancey kind of music. Tsubaba, who is one of Nigeria's most iconic artists, had this song, African Queen, that just celebrates the beauty of the African woman. I think hearing this song like, you are my African queen, the girl of my dreams, it's just, it's so beautiful to see the black woman, like the African woman celebrated for, you know, the wonder that she is. And I think it meant a lot to me at such a young, impressionable age, knowing like that I was beautiful in my, you know, blackness and Africanness. On the one hand, there is Afrobeats, which is different from Afrobeats without the S. So Afrobeats is, you know, a, a genre of music popularized and pioneered by the late Fela Kuti. And Afrobeat is really distinct in its message against political oppression. Um, that was what Fela Kuti was known for. He was really, you know, he was punished by the government in prison for using his music to speak out against the government's oppression. 2019 was the year of Bronner Boy. Um, his album, African Giant, really put Afrobeat on the world map. Anybody, um, anybody, we go try to Sergi. Um, that song really means a lot to people from the continent. You also think about like the message that that album, African Giant, really conveys. It's about how far we've come as a continent. Wizkid did a lot for Afrobeat in terms of marketing it to the rest of the world. So Wizkid had this song he collabed with Drake on It's One Dance, which was the most streamed song on Spotify in 2016. And then more recently, you have artists like Mr. Easy collaborating a lot with Latin artists like J Balvin to also bring that sound like the song Come On Bebe has a lot of Afrobeat like African music um, influences and it really just makes that sound authentic because you have a marriage of Afrobeat and Latin sounds. Afrobeat is not entirely Nigerian but it would be dishonest to say that Nigeria hasn't had a significant impact on Afrobeat. I'm gonna tell you the top 10 artists so there's Wizkid, Nigerian, Mr. Easy, Nigerian, Burna Boy, Nigerian, Davido, Nigerian. Okay, there's Fuse ODG, who's Ghanaian, so that's one. There's Yemi Alade, who's Nigerian. There's Techno, who's Nigerian. Um, there's Black Coffee, who's South African. There's Malik Gary, who's Nigerian, and Tiwa Savage, who's Nigerian. The numbers don't lie. Afrobeats has always existed, and it's always been great and beautiful and just a jam. But the more international artists discover Afrobeats and they're like, oh wow, this is awesome. I want this in my music. As you've seen Drake do, as you've seen Ariana Grande do, as you've seen Sierra do. So there's more incorporation of Afrobeats. Um, part of it is that discovery that's happened in more recent years. The other part of it too is the advent of streaming, removing that barrier as to how far Afrobeats can travel. Drake um, collaborated with Wizkid and you're listening to that song, it's beautiful, and you want to know more about Wizkid. So you go to his Spotify page and listen to more songs. Afrobeats artists go seamlessly between local language, Igbo or Yoruba usually, and English, and sometimes Pigeon English. Pigeon English is like an offshoot of like English, but it's more widely spoken in Nigeria. It's kind of like a bridge between people from different tribes. Uh, um, the next song I'm going to talk about is Anybody by Brenna Boy. So he starts out by saying, I don't charge my energy. I no get time for no enemy. First of all, Brenna Boy. I think Brenna Boy would always be iconic. You know, he got nominated for a Grammy, the last Grammy Awards. Listen to anybody, listen to Own It. Listen to On The Low. On The Low was my jam for a lot, for a good number of months. I played On The Low on repeat. So there's Buona Boy, um, there's Mr. Easy, Tommy Water, Holy Water. 
quench this fire. I also absolutely love Davido. Davido, he released an album um, last last year, um, towards the end of last year. He, like this song, Risky. I love Risky. It's just like such a feel good, like party song. Risky, Risky, yes, your body, Risky. So listen to Davido, listen to Mr. Easy, listen to Bonaboy. 